Hey guys, welcome to Good morning from the Russian Mission Control Center in the town of Koryov outside of Moscow. And welcome to our coverage of the undocking and redocking of the ISS Progress 62 cargo ship, the unpiloted Russian cargo ship that will be sent on a short spin away from the International Space Station this morning, about a 34 minute maneuver to test an upgraded telerobotically operated unit, uh, the backup rendezvous system. Uh, that was uh, upgraded inside uh, the workstation of the Zvezda service module several weeks ago. You're looking at a still photo of the Russian Mission Control Center here in Koryov. Meanwhile, half a world away at the Johnson Space Center in Houston, the International Space Station Flight Control Team, the Orbit One team of flight controllers on duty at this hour, led by Flight Director Rick Lebrod on the right side of your screen. He's joined uh, by spacecraft communicator Jay Marshke, who will be talking to the International Space Station crew during the course of today's activities. Of course, uh, this activity today, the undocking and redocking of the Progress 62 cargo ship, is under the control of the Russian flight controllers here in Koryov. The uh, uh, two flight directors who will be in charge of that activity, Yuri Nalovkin and Valerie Ledudo, uh, they are at their stations along with other Russian uh, controllers uh, who will be manning uh, their consoles to watch over the data uh, as uh, the progress makes a short uh, excursion away from the Piers docking compartment of the International Space Station. The two cosmonauts on board uh, the station, members of the Expedition 48 crew, who will be uh, at a workstation inside the Zvezda service module, operating a joystick to manually fly the progress back in for its docking and the test of this backup rendezvous system, are Alexei Ovchinin and Alex Gropochka, both of whom were launched along with uh, Station Commander Jeff Williams of NASA back in March on their Soyuz spacecraft. The uh, whole three-man uh, crew of Expedition 48 of Williams, Ovchinin, and Skripochka have uh, been by themselves now for almost two weeks as a three-man crew on the International Outpost ever since the departure of Tim Copra, Yuri Malenchenko, and Tim Peake uh, as they landed uh, on the steppe of Kazakhstan uh, two weeks ago today. However, uh, this uh, three-man uh, crew will be joined soon by three additional crew members who will augment the Expedition 48 crew, NASA's Kate Rubens, uh, Anatoly Ivanishin of Roscosmos, and Takoya Onishi of the Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency, who are at the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan and at their Cosmonaut Hotel crew quarters in the final weeks of training that will lead to their launch on July 7th Baikonur time on a two-day rendezvous to augment the station back to a six-person crew. I see. But the activity uh, of choice today is uh, this engineering test the, uh, of uh, the uh, telerobotically operated unit, the TORU system, which serves as a backup to the automated CORS rendezvous system. Uh, this TORU system uh, encountered uh, several uh, engineering discrepancies uh, on the uh, initial approach of the 62 Progress craft when it uh, was launched on December 21st from the Baikonur Cosmodrome last year on a two-day rendezvous that took it to a docking to the Piers docking compartment on December 23rd. The uh, TORU system, uh, again, serves only in the case of progress vehicles, not manned Soyuz vehicles, but uh, in the unlikely event the problem would occur with the CORE's automated rendezvous system, uh, the crew on board the station, the cosmonaut team inside the Zvezda service module, would take over uh, manual control of the flying of the Progress, as they will this morning, uh, to uh, basically fly the Progress in for its docking to the Piers docking compartment in this case. Countdown clocks are ticking backward to the uh, command that will open up the hooks that have held the Progress in place at the Piers docking compartment. That undocking command will be issued at uh, 12.35 a.m. Central Time. A minute and a half later, springs on both sides of the docking interface will push off against one another to enable the progress to physically separate from piers. That separation to occur at 12.36 and 30 seconds a.m. Central Time. The progress uh, will back away uh, with uh, the assistance of two separation burns, one of five seconds in duration, uh, and one uh, just about two minutes later of uh, 15 seconds in duration to send the progress to a distance of about 600 feet uh, away from the pier's docking compartment where the brakes will be put on and uh, Ovchinin and Skripochka then will take over 
for the manual flying of the Progress back in for a manual docking to the pier's docking compartment with the redocking expected at 1.10 a.m. Central Time. At that point, hooks will close the back once again. The uh, crew, uh, after the initial arrival of the Progress 62 back in December, and after engineering analysis by the Russian uh, engineers here in Korolev and RSC Energia, determined uh, that uh, a replacement of the signal conversion unit in the Toru workstation in Zvezda was required. That uh, was performed uh, with a uh, test of the Progress still docked to the station back in late April. Now uh, a final test uh, of this uh, upgraded uh, Toru signal conversion system and the Toru system in general uh, with the progress free flying away from the station will be undertaken this morning and that will set the stage for the same hardware to be used on future progress launches. In Houston, uh, the flight control team under the direction of Rick LeBrode uh, taking a final go no go for the undocking of the Progress vehicle. LeBrode will pass that on to his Russian counterparts here in Koryov a short time from now, and the stage will be set for the physical separation of Progress just 15 minutes from now. The Progress, after it redocks, will only uh, be reattached to the station for a very short period of time. Its final undocking is scheduled for 10.48 p.m. Central Time on Saturday night, uh, July 2nd, uh, tomorrow evening. Uh, several hours later, its engines will fire in a deorbit burn at 2.03 a.m. Central Time on Sunday, July 3rd, and that will send progress into a destructive uh, reentry into the Earth's atmosphere where it will break up harmlessly over the southern Pacific Ocean in the wee hours of Sunday morning. Its job will have been completed. Its uh, place in the pier's docking compartment, uh, docking port, will be taken just two weeks from now by the new ISS Progress 64 cargo craft that will be launched on Saturday afternoon U.S. time on July 16th. Uh, the scheduled launch time is 4.41 p.m. Central Time on Saturday, July 16th. That will be 3.41 a.m. Baikonur time from the Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan on Sunday, July 17th on what currently is forecast to be a two-day rendezvous for the Progress to link up to the Piers docking compartment and a six-month stay at Piers where it will remain docked until the mid-January time frame in 2017. Russians attempted a similar experiment on Mir. It did not go well. Because they had a pack full of trash and they didn't have good visibility. The station could barely be made out. The range finder didn't work. Basically, they ended up slamming the progress into the respective module of Mir. Again, here in the uh, Russian Mission Control Center in Korolev, uh, we're standing by for the uh, undocking command that will take uh, place about 12 minutes from now. Uh, that uh, undocking command will uh, set the stage for the physical separation of the Progress 62 cargo craft that again was launched back on December 21st, arriving at the station on December 23rd, carrying three tons of food, fuel, and supplies for the residents on board the International Space Station. A similar load of uh, cargo and fuel uh, is set uh, to be launched in two weeks on the new ISS Progress 64 cargo craft. Again, that launch scheduled for the afternoon of Saturday, July 16th, and the wee hours of Sunday, July 17th in Baikonur uh, on uh, the next uh, resupply uh, journey of a Russian uh, cargo craft to the International Space Station. But the first order of business today is the undocking of progress and its redocking 
uh, we will be uh, gaining a television uh, signal from the Progress uh, 64 or 62 cargo craft uh, shortly uh, before its undocking uh, takes place. We should be picking up uh, a television signal for Russian ground stations a short time from now. We will not have a uh, downlink television capability from the station on the KU band communication system through the tracking and ra uh, relay satellite system until uh, just about undocking time, some 12 minutes from now. So we'll be standing by for that activity. Again, this is a 34 minute uh, activity to back the progress away to a distance of about 600 feet away from the pier's docking compartment. The undocking will be automated and that at the point at which uh, the progress is at furthest distance away from the pier's docking compartment, uh, Alexei Ovchinin and Alex Gropochka, the two Expedition 48 cosmonauts uh, on board the station at the moment, uh, part of the three-man crew for the moment as uh, the Expedition 48 crew, they'll take over manual control of the flying of the progress from the telerobotically operated workstation in the Zvezda service module to fly the progress back in for a docking that is scheduled for 1.10 a.m. Central Time. It's just past six in the morning here, so I guess I'm just a little bit tired. Yeah, it's a little At this hour, the International Space Station and its three crew members are traveling 254 statute miles above the Earth, moving from southwest to northeast in an orbit inclined 51.6 degrees to either side of the equator. They are flying directly over Istanbul, Turkey, as we speak, uh, soon to make a pass over uh, southern Russia and northwestern Kazakhstan, north of the uh, launch site at the Baikonur Cosmodrome. Again, uh, we are standing by uh, for the undocking command about seven minutes from now that will open the hooks that have held the Progress 62 cargo ship in place uh, at the pier's docking compartment a minute and a half after that undocking command at 12.36 and 30 seconds a.m. Central Time. Uh, springs on both sides of the docking interface will push off against one another uh, to enable physical separation of the Progress from the port to which it has been attached since uh, December 23rd of last year. This test, once again, designed uh, to uh, check out uh, the integrity of a new signal conversion unit that was installed in a workstation of the Zvezda service module that operates uh, the communications link uh, for the telerobotically operated uh, unit. That's the backup uh, rendezvous system that uh, is used uh, in the unlikely event that a failure would occur in the automated CORS rendezvous system during the approach of a Progress uh, vehicle to the International Space Station. In the case of a piloted Soyuz vehicle, there is no TORU operation. In the event a CORS failure would occur for a Soyuz, the crew on board of the Soyuz vehicle itself would take over the manual flying of the Soyuz in for its docking. Station 
station the Moscow Space to Ground 1 for Toro test. Go ahead on Space to Ground 1. Uh, Alexei, uh, please activate Toro and proceed with Toro test in step 5. Copy and work. And before you send the command, PUPS network, please release all. And this view is of a crosshair camera outside of the Progress 62 cargo craft, uh, a familiar engineering crosshair camera that provides uh, data to the Russian flight controllers here in Koryov so they can measure uh, ultimately its distance uh, from the station as it backs away. And uh, then as it reapproaches the station under the manual control of Pochinin and Skropochka, the rate of closure for its redocking with contact and capture expected to occur uh, as uh, the progress is uh, traveling at about one-tenth of a meter per second. Uh, this will also provide a view of the docking port itself as the progress backs away and then reapproaches in this 34-minute maneuver uh, to test uh, the backup rendezvous system called the TORU, or the Telerobotically Operated Unit in the Zvezda service module. The BPS initial, and I confirm that uh, two side LEDs are illuminated. Copy. Please proceed with the hand controller's test. Copy and rotational hand controller test in work. And so move till hard stop for a couple of seconds, uh, three, four seconds, and uh, wait till the LEDs are illuminated. Copy. All uh, four LEDs uh, are illuminated for pitch and neutral. Uh, hand controller up. All of them uh, are illuminated in neutral position. All LEDs are illuminated. A hand controller to the right and uh, your. Uh, all LEDs are illuminated and neutral position. LEDs are not illuminated. A hand controller to the left. Uh, all four LEDs are illuminated and neutral. Uh, for pitch, neutral position not illuminated. Uh, clockwise. All four LEDs um, are illuminated for roll. I am done with the rotational hand controller test. Proceed with the translational hand controller test. Through a translator, you're hearing a conversation between Alexei Ovchinin inside the Zvezda service module and uh, the flight control team here in Koryov as they uh, make final checks to the uh, workstation in the Zvezda service module that Ovchinin and Alex Kropochka are uh, manning at this hour as we uh, stand by for the command uh, for the hooks to open on the uh, Progress 62 cargo craft uh, that will set the stage for its undocking that is coming up just about three minutes from now. Not illuminated. Pulling towards myself. Two side LEDs are illuminated in neutral position, not illuminated. Pushing it away. Two side LEDs are illuminated in neutral position, not illuminated. Translational hand controller is working fine. All right. And now send the PPS initial. And I'm sending the command. The LEDs are illuminated. BPS initial command, um, all LEDs are illuminated. I am done with page 36. Copy. You can move on to page 37. Uh, so please illuminate, uh, activate the floodlight. Copy and work. The International Space Station has been placed in what is called free drift. Uh, all of its uh, thrusters on the Russian segment disabled to prevent uh, any perturbation uh, on the complex at the time of the undocking. The command uh, should be issued about 30 seconds from now to begin the opening of the hooks. And by activating the floodlight and then deactivating the operation and let me try and uh, play with AGC mode because uh, the image is a little bit too dark copy you have a go 
отключить работу ожидаем please deactivate the operation command and stand by for separation copy отключил работу the operation is off copy In uh, the uh, flight control room in Houston at the Johnson Space Center, the visiting vehicle officer, Heidi Paris, uh, has confirmed to flight director Rick LeBrode that the progress hooks are, in fact, driving open, setting the stage for the uh, physical separation of uh, progress from the pier's docking compartment. A short time from now, the physical separation expected at 12.36 and 30 seconds a.m. Central Time. I confirm undocking at 08-36-36. Undocking confirmed. Visible separation as the progress has uh, left the pier's docking compartment. The undocking time was 12:36, 36 seconds a.m. Central Time. So the progress is now beginning to back away from the pier's docking compartment. There will be a pair of separation burns on the progress thrusters. Uh, the first uh, manual separation burn will be a five-second burn uh, to increase the opening rate by two-tenths of a meter per second. That will be coming up about two minutes from now, followed a minute and a half later by a second separation burn of 15 seconds in duration that will uh, send the progress away uh, to a distance of about 600 feet away from the International Space Station. Please, with the right hand controller, uh, try and uh, mi and minimize any discrepancies with the required attitude. So, am I using the rotational hand controller? Yes, that is correct. Fifteen seconds. Tail operation. There. Copy. Ten seconds. What did you say? I'm activating operation. Copy. I'm going to the manual control. I confirm that LEDs are illuminated. And I... Um, Go into the retreat plus X, and I'm selecting narrow angle. Confirm that the narrow angle has been selected. This view of the uh, Progress 62 having backed away from the pier's docking compartment and continuing an opening rate to a distance of about 600 feet. Alexei Ovchin and Alex Gropochka are uh, converting uh, the systems on their workstation to the uh, manual mode for the operation of the telerobotically operated unit that will be used to, to uh, manually fly the progress back in for the redocking a short time from now. Again, undocking occurring at 12.36 and 30 seconds a.m. Central Time uh, as uh, the International Space Station flew 254 statute miles over southern Russia. I'm pulling the translation hand control towards myself for five seconds. You have our go. And visually, the uh, range is about 25 meters. Copy. 
I'm sending the command to deactivate the power supply to the docking assembly, and I confirm that LEDs are illuminated. I am activating the power supply to the docking mechanism. I see that of the in a mo two side and two middle LEDs are illuminated. We are ready to um, proceed, and I am deactivating the power supply to the latches. Flight controllers here in Korolyov now report uh, that the docking probe has been powered up on the progress in advance uh, of its reapproach for a redocking that will be conducted shortly under the manual control of cosmonauts Alexei Ovchinin and Alex Kropochka from a workstation inside the International Space Station's Zvezda service module. Progress uh, continuing to back away from uh, the complex. It will uh, be at a distance of about 600 feet uh, away from the Beers docking compartment uh, at the time uh, that it will begin its uh, reapproach under the control of uh, Ovchinin and Skropochka. The International Space Station and the Progress Resupply Craft flying 254 statute miles over central Mongolia, moving from northwest to southeast in an orbit inclined 51.6 degrees to either side of the equator. So far, so good on this engineering test of a new signal converter installed in the uh, TORU, or Telerobotically Operated Unit System, the backup rendezvous system that is used uh, uh, in the unlikely event that the core's automated rendezvous system would uh, encounter a problem on a approaching progress uh, cargo craft. So, how do you see the target of the docking mechanism? Well, the docking, I can see the docking mechanism, but I can't see the target that well. Um, it, there is just too much insulation. So, please work, try to, to see the docking mechanism. So, and you are a little bit off of the desired attitude, and please correct your pitch. Copy, I see that. In about 20 seconds, please get ready to send uh, the command for the second uh, separation burn. Copy. As you heard, uh in that instruction from the uh, flight control team here in Korolyov to uh, cosmonauts of China and Skropochka, uh, the uh, flight control team standing by for the command for the second burn for the second separation burn. That command now has been sent. This uh, will be a 15-second burn to enable the progress to move out to a distance of about uh, 600 feet or so from the pier's docking compartment for a short period of station keeping where Russian flight controllers will assess the uh, systems on the Progress 62, its relative alignment uh, to the pier's docking compartment before uh, the uh, crew on board uh, the station uh, of Chinin and Skropochka begin to manually fly the Progress back in for its redocking. So far, everything is going as planned. It is just repeating. Copy your last. So at 180 meters, please start braking, Bobby. And as you uh, heard in that uh, report, uh, the brakes will be applied on the progress, basically, uh, to stop it at a distance of about 600 feet away from the pier's docking compartment, again, for that uh, very brief period of station keeping, and an opportunity for the Russian flight control team here uh, to assess uh, the uh, status of the 62 progress systems, as well as uh, the readiness of uh, Ovchinin and Skropochka 
to begin uh, their work to fly the Progress back in for its redocking. Again, this is an engineering test that was uh, proposed and approved by the International Space Station Partnership to test uh, this brand new signal converter uh, and an upgrade to the uh, telerobotically operated backup rendezvous system that will be applied uh, to all future Progress resupply vehicles. Visually, the range is about, is about 170, 180 meters, and I'm ready for the braking. You have a go to put it in work. Copy. Good view from the uh, Progress external engineering camera uh, showing uh, the International Space Station as uh, the Progress and the station fly for the moment, at least independently, 254 miles above the Earth, about to pass over South Korea on a pass that will uh, take uh, the two craft uh, just to the south of the Japanese islands and out over the eastern or western Pacific Ocean. I see the docking mechanism, and I'm getting to the access for the docking mechanism, and I'm starting with the fly around. Copy and work. You have a go. And Alexei, please move to page 25 of the RODF. All right, we're on page. Moving on to page 25. You have a go to initiate approach and docking. Copy. Please make sure that your range rate is about 0 0.3, 0 0.2, 0 0.3 meters per second. All right, so translational hand control is away from me for about three seconds, seven, eight seconds. And as you heard, uh, the Russian flight controllers are happy with the uh, systems on the 62 Progress craft and its orientation and all of the systems uh, on board of the Zvezda service module and have given uh, Ovchinin and Skripochka a go to initiate the manual reapproach of the Progress for what uh, is likely to be an early redocking to the pier's docking compartment flying directly over the southern Japanese island chain at the moment. Uh, the progress now begins its uh, slow trek back in for a docking uh, to complete this brief engineering test of uh, the new signal converter uh, that was installed in the workstation of the Zvezda service module and an upgrade uh, to the backup rendezvous system for future progress vehicles. Go ahead and use translational a hand controller uh, most of the time and minimize the usage of uh, rotational hand controls. Copy, Moscow. How would you rate this uh, range rate? Visually. Visually, the range rate is about 0 0.3 to 0 0.35. Continue to control the uh, range rate during the final approach. I copy Moscow. We are aligned with the docking target. Copy. And at station point, station keeping point, uh, the size of the docking target should be two squares. I copy all Moscow.
Приступил к гашению скорости. Starting to break. Copy. Please report uh, to us. This is Mission Control in Koryov. Uh, as you can see uh, from views from both the Progress and from International Space Station cameras, uh, the Progress uh, continues uh, to be manually flown back in in true form uh, for its redocking uh, to the pier's docking compartment. It departed the piers at uh, 12.36 and 36 seconds a.m. Central Time, Actually, backed away to a distance of almost 600 feet away from the piers, and uh, cosmonauts Alexei Ovchinin and Alex Kropochka have now taken over manual control of the flying of the progress from uh, the upgraded uh, Toru uh, system on a workstation, basically uh, operating a joystick at that workstation in the Zvezda service module. That uh, manual flying is uh, designed uh, to uh, test out a new signal conversion unit that was installed in the workstation back in April. Uh, so far, everything is checked out perfectly. Uh, the progress is slowly but surely moving back in for a redocking uh, to the pier's docking compartment, but it will be a brief stay since it will undock for the final time late on Saturday, July 2nd, uh, just before 11 p.m. Central Time and a few hours later sent uh, into a deorbit burn and a destructive reentry back into the Earth's atmosphere. The progress is now uh, station keeping at about 30 meters away from the pier's docking compartment. One final check of its alignment and uh, the systems on board the 62 progress. So far so good. Uh, all the reports here in Korindov uh, indicate a good system, a good Toru uh, manual rendezvous backup system being operated by Ovchinin and Skropochka. This, again, a brief uh, moment for station keeping to enable the flight controllers here to make one final assessment of the progress systems and its uh, alignment. Retract the antenna on your go. Copy your go to retract the overclock antenna. Command has been sent to retract the antenna. Copy, Alexei. Continue station keeping. Please do not continue in uh, closer than 20 meters. Copy. Current range is 25 meters, Moscow. I copy, Alexei. Russian flight controllers uh, instructing Alexei Ovchinin uh, to take it uh, slowly and surely in an incremental fashion as he uh, manually flies the progress back in. 25 meters distance now between uh, the progress and a redocking to the pier's docking compartment on the Earth-facing port of the Russian segment of the International Space Station. The piers having first launched to the station in September of 2001, serving a dual purpose as both a docking port and the airlock for Russian-based spacewalks out of the International Space Station. We're maintaining 25 meter range. The crosshairs are aligned and we are straight across from the docking mechanism. Copy all. Alexei, please continue station keeping. Copy Moscow. Russian flight controllers happy with the alignment of the uh, Progress 62 cargo craft, as you heard. Alexei Ovchinin with a steady hand at the workstation in the Zvezda service module, manually flying the Progress back in this engineering test of uh, the upgraded uh, telerobotically operated unit or TORU system 
which again serves as a backup to the CORE's automated rendezvous system that uh, is used uh, in the unlikely event uh, during the final approach of a progress uh, in its rendezvous for a docking to the International Space Station. The CORE is, of course, the automated system that is tried and true, but in the event of a problem, the crew on board the station would take over manual control of the flying of an approaching progress just as they are doing in this test this morning. Copy. Continue station keeping and maintaining attitude. And uh, make sure that you stay at the right range. Copy and work. And we're getting video of the station as well. Station keeping uh, continuing. For the progress of 62 cargo craft as it flies 254 statute miles over the western Pacific to the northeast of New Guinea. For our assessment, uh, no issues at all. We copy Moscow. Alexei, we're going to be using VPS control panel to operate the docking mechanism. I copy. The Russian segment of the International Space Station is reported by flight controllers here at Koryalf to be ready for redocking that should uh, commence uh, with the final approach for uh, the redocking of the progress to the Piers docking compartment uh, just a few moments from now. We're maintaining 25 meter range and I am aligned with the required docking interface. Copy. All right, Alexei. From FOBPS control panel, send command to activate power to just send command to power. To power up what? To power up docking mechanism. So from BOBPS control panel, send command, which is called activation, to activate docking mechanism. Copy. And I can report that um, the central or middle LEDs are on. Okay, go ahead and send command OVK Zakar to retract the uh, our antenna. Copy. The side LEDs came on and off, and uh, the mi middle LEDs are off. Copy, Alexei. We are finished with uh, transitioning uh, ISS to snap and hold and your go to initiate final approach. Please maintain a range rate of no more than 0 0.15 meters per second, and we recommend that you use pulse mode on the translation hand controller. And perform uh, one last station keeping at a range of 3 meters. I copy. At a range of uh, 2 to 3 meters, I will initiate station keeping. And I am starting to initiate final approach. 
мишени, три клетки. Accelerating. Редактор Uh, they'll be watching as will the cosmonauts on a TV monitor, the same view that you're seeing, they're seeing on board, as uh, they will approach at a glacial rate of about one-tenth of a meter per second, station keep about two to three meters away from the docking port itself for a final uh, review of alignment and uh, the progress systems before they bring uh, the progress in for contact and capture and the initiation of the retraction of the docking probe that will uh, enable... Uh, the hooks to close once again for a 24-hour period uh, before the progress is undocked uh, on the night of uh, Saturday, July 2nd for the final time. Has almost redocked. Range is six meters. Copy six meters. Just six meters away from redocking. You can see that alignment coming into perfect uh, symmetry uh, as uh, Alexei Ochinin uh, applies uh, kit gloves on the workstation for the Toru system inside the Zvezda service module. We'll be standing by for a, another brief period of station keeping before final contact and capture. Please report when you are station keeping. I copy. Excellent view of the uh, Progress 62 as it has reinitiated uh, station keeping just about three meters away from the pier's docking compartment that you see uh, on the left side of your screen. Once again, uh, Ochinin uh, will send commands uh, through the telerobotically operated rendezvous system to uh, reinitiate the final approach for contact and capture. We'll be standing by uh, for a final go from the Russian mission control team here in Korolev to uh, complete uh, this uh, Toru test, the undocking and redocking of the Progress 62 resupply vehicle. Three meters. The crosshairs are aligned, and I'm ready to send the pulse to close in. Copy. Go ahead and send the two second pulse. I copy. Two second closing pulse is complete. Copy. Continue to use translation. And final approach to close uh, the final three meters uh, to contact and capture has been initiated. Everything going very smoothly. As we'll uh, monitor uh, the communications from the flight control team here in Koryov and these outstanding television views that you're receiving from both International Space Station cameras and uh, the Progress external camera. Contact confirmed. Capture confirmed. Contact confirmed. Docking confirmed. Docking. Docking confirmed at 1.05 a.m. Central Time. 
105 a.m. Central Time as the International Space Station flew 254 statute You'd miles never see that. I've over seen the South Pacific. Pacific. Um, are you sure that thing does? <coughs> uh, we're going to go ahead and turn off uh, manual control. Disabling manual control. Okay. Manual control is disabled. We copy alert. With uh, docking confirmed once again at uh, 105 a.m. Central Time, 205 a.m. Eastern Time, uh, the relative motion of the two vehicles dampening out against uh, one another. Once uh, that settles down, uh, then uh, the docking probe will be retracted. Once retracted, uh, the hooks will be closed and uh, the Progress uh, will have a hard mate once again to the pier's docking compartment. Again, uh, the textbook undocking and redocking for the crew, the two cosmonauts, uh, Ovchinin and Skripochka, to test uh, the uh, upgraded uh, telerobotically operated rendezvous system. Copy, Alexei. Some lovely the okay. undocking of the progress from the pier's docking compartment uh, was initiated at 12.36 a.m. Central Time. The progress backed away to a distance of about 600 feet away from the station. And we also at which point oscillation of the, vehicle the, uh, the reinitiation of uh, the approach for redocking was uh, commanded uh, and approved by the flight control team here in Korolyov. The reapproach uh, was uh, executed uh, on manual operation by uh, Alexei Ovchinin from a workstation inside the uh, Zvezda service module with uh, the redocking occurring at 105 a.m. Central Time as we stand by uh, for the uh, retraction of the docking probe and the initiation of uh, the hooks closing between the progress and the pier's docking compartment. We see that. I'm going to end this video here. I'm Boss2025. That was the undocking and redocking of progress. Goodbye.